So now I'm going to be doing Lady in the Woods. I'm going to put some highlights. I'm going to make it a bronze effect, like this one that I did earlier. So let's get on with that. I'm going to actually, with this one, I used the metallic titanium gold. But with this little one here, I'm going to use this um, copper Dowler Rani, Roni acrylic paint. It's a bit redder, it's a bit richer, and I think I'll um, do the same that I did to the blue one with the silver highlights. I think I will just put it around the edges and see how that works. So let's go for that just now. So I'm going to just a moment see what ah clean that. So with a dry brush, I think I'll use this one. I use all my old brushes for this technique. As you can see, that's well worn. Um, there's hardly any bristles left on it. But hey, I don't want to use my really lovely brushes so I'm going to use this old brush and I'm just going to dab a tiny amount. You can see it's really red and coppery so let's try that. I've had this paint a long time. It cost £5.70 but that must have been 10 years ago. I think I bought them about 10 years ago so I, I have quite a nice collection. Um, of antique golds etc but um, I just thought because I'm using acrylic paint as the undercoat I'm going to use these so I'm just going to sit down on my creaky chair and start adding some highlights so as I said before I dab a little bit on and then I wipe it off because I don't want too much paint on the brush so Really, it's just a dusting. I'm just going to try and see what it's going to look like. Yes, I think that's going to be good. That rich copper look. It's quite different to the um, titanium gold I used earlier. got the radio on, that's Hugh, Hughie Morgan. I always listen to this on a Saturday morning. I really like this programme, I really like Hughie Morgan. He plays some funky stuff. I usually sing along as well, but I won't, while I'm recording, put that one on you. Just listen to that lovely music in the background. I like this effect. I'm going to show you the difference in colour of the two different golds. So they both were undercoated together with the same acrylic paint and then I highlighted using that titanium gold with this beautiful Lady in the Woods plaque. This one is the copper as I said and it's a rich copper, it's beautiful actually, I really like it. So I'm going to continue with that. These are all going in my memorial garden. I'm creating outside. I've got some lovely things to put out there. You see, when people get cremated, often the ashes get scattered, and you haven't got a place really to go and show your respects or your 
put tri little tributes, etc, etc. So I'm actually going to create my own little space, my little place out the back, in memory of all my family members. And actually I've got a beautiful stone my mum painted. I'm going to actually, I'll show you in a later video, well I'll actually quickly show you now. It's a, of an owl she painted on a stone and I think she must have painted that 40 years ago. Now that's acrylic paint so that's how durable acrylic paint is because that has been outdoors but um, for the last 10 years I've had it inside keep meaning to I'm not going to go over the owl, I'm just going to go over the blue to bring the owl out of it and then I will put a coat of polyurethane varnish on that as well. And that will also go out in my memorial place out the back, my memorial garden. Whoops, I've got a little spot of paint. Because it's acrylic, it's very easy to wipe off if you do it fairly quickly while it's still um, a little bit damp. There, I've got it because I want to keep this plain. This I want just highlighted, these little leaves. Gives it depth, brings out that lovely little face, and also it shows the detail. It shows the detail up on the leaves, which is beautiful. Really nice. I've also got some, as I said earlier, I've got little buddhas that's going out there. I've got one there, I've got a nice one that's already been painted and have a lovely bronze effect finish on that bigger buddha. He's going outside too. I've got lots of other bits and pieces that's already out there. Um, eventually when I've finished it I will show it. I'll make a little video of it. My lovely my lovely little garden that I'm creating out the back. By the way, when um when I was doing my what was I doing? Uh, oh I was doing my foundation course prior to me applying to go to university to do fine art and I did a six week workshop of ceramics and I really loved ceramics and I was actually going to specialise in it but I really wanted to do the painting side and I thought I could do both together which I did do so in my garden is all bits and pieces surplus that I made while I was doing my foundation and I think I made some other bits and pieces while I was at um, Bath Spa University doing my fine arts course. So I've got lots of bits and pieces out the back there. If um, I haven't got space for any ornaments etc in my house I tend to put them outside and you'd be surprised how nice they look dotted around your garden. It makes your garden very interesting for people to spot things as they're walking around. They can spot little bits and pieces that you've placed in various places. So I've got a beautiful pond out the back there. I've got lots and lots of ceramic pieces that I made. 
that I don't want in the house. Well, actually, I haven't got room for them. As an artist, you collect all sorts of rubbish because you might need it as reference or you might need it to put in your paintings. So I've got a fair amount of bits and pieces. Anyway, look, this is turning out really rather beautiful. I'm so pleased with that effect. I really like that effect. I'm wondering whether to put a little bit around her face, actually. I think with this one I might just put a tiny touch. Just a tiny touch. Let's have a look, see what happens. Oh yes, I like that. Just highlights her, her face a little. Yes, I think that's going to work. That's going to work lovely. Over her lips, put some over the top of her nose. It's only just a tiny touch. It's not much, but it does make quite a nice difference actually. Just a little bit on her chin. I think that's enough. There we go, we'll let those dry a minute. 